Hi guys, Tanya here. So check out my look. It is Saturday afternoon. I have been hanging out all day at home. I'm still in my pajamas as you can see. My little Hello Kitty gear going on that my fam got me for my birthday. And I, I just don't feel good, y'all. I have a head cold. My head is all stuffy, so if you hear me sniffing, that's why or clearing my throat, that's why. But hopefully I'll be able to knock it out with some good rest. I did not get good rest last night. There is a reason. Let me show you. This is the reason. Y'all see these? This right here? These things are like pine cones. Sleeping on pine cones. Oh my God. I'm saying, Tanya. I thought you were going to wash that hair on Saturday. It's been flat ironed for two weeks. Aren't you going to wash it today? That had been the plan. Um, last night, as I was thinking about washing it, I just didn't have the energy because I didn't feel good. And then I was also thinking, if I try to wash it today with a head cold, it's just going to be terrible. So I started looking online and I remembered that I had planned on doing a couple of other styles which I just didn't have time to do during the week. I planned on doing a twist out. I was discouraged after that braid out and I just didn't try it. It was an insanely busy week at work, like it is at the end of the term, close to Christmas. And um, all of you teachers know what I'm talking about. And on top of that, you know, I also wanted to try a Bantu knot out, but I hadn't because of the crazy week. So I thought, hmm. Why don't I try the knot out? I discovered with the um, braid out was that I used small braids. So they didn't give me good definition. But I had my hair, after that, I rolled it up that Sunday and then pinned it and then wore, wore it back. And then throughout the week, I just put it in two braids, like to here, um, throughout the remainder of the week. Kind of cute. I pin them up sometimes. I wore them down sometimes. And when I took those out yesterday, it was so defined. I was like, seriously? This is the look I was going for last Sunday. Two fat braids. Look at that. There's the braid out I wanted. Seriously? Couldn't do it on my birthday, but five days later, <laughs> Now I know, right? So if I do, I'm really kind of annoyed. Now I'm like, look at, look at, look at this. Right now. Don't make no kind of sense. Now that I'm about to be done with my hair. Oh well. I'm going to watch some. So what I decided to do was to do the Bantu knots this time on Friday night and keep them in all day Saturday and then take them out Sunday morning. One of the reasons I decided that was because I realized that with my braid out, I made several errors, and I think those errors contributed to the lack of definition. One was that I made this, the braids too small. Even though I had fat sections, the braids were still itty bitty, teeny braids. And looking back in retrospect, I should have only done four to six braids. I would have gotten a bigger pattern so that even if it wasn't very defined with a holding product, the waves would have been more visible. I have very thin hair. I have thin distribution around my head, meaning that my hair isn't very dense, and then I have thin strands of hair. And so because of that, I need bigger sections of hair in order to get bigger definition, and I need bigger sections of hair in order to, to just show and hold um, a pattern in it. If I my second issue was that I didn't have a holding product, and I, re I realized that at the time, I just used my shea butter mix because I couldn't think of anything else to use or I think looking back in retrospect I wasn't desperate enough to use what I did have to um, give it some hold. Now what I didn't tell you was that throughout the week I haven't put any moisturizing agents on my hair. I haven't really wanted to because it's flat ironed and I didn't want to get it wet. And I also remembered that I actually do have a leave-in conditioner, which I haven't used the whole time that my hair has been flat ironed. Part of the reason is because I forgot that I had it. <laughs> but the reason I forgot is because I prefer not to use it because it has a cone in it. And the cones 
I don't mind them in my rinse out conditioners, but I don't like them sitting on my hair for an extended period of time. Now, remember that I already have a cone in my hair because when my friend flat ironed it, she used the um, Pantene heat serum, heat protectant serum, and so that is a cone. It's pretty much like BioSilk. It smells exactly the same, and that's a cone. I did a video on relaxed versus flat ironed hair, which one is more harmful, because with flat ironed hair, we use cones to protect it from the heat and that protects or prevents moisture from getting in, whereas with relaxers, we've already broken bond, which is also destructive to the hair. So in that video, I pointed out the fact that moisture can't get in when you have a silicone on it, but I got a lot of interesting comments, and one of the comments was that moisture can get in to a certain extent. It's not, you know, like a, like a vault or like a safe, and moisture can get in to a certain extent. So, you know, with the silicone on there for the last two weeks, I hadn't been wetting it, um, obviously with a, with a flat with a flat iron you don't want to wet it or it reverts but I did put my shea butter mix on it which isn't a moisturizer but it does have oils in it good oils like coconut oil um, it has some jojoba oil grapeseed oil sweet almond oil so I hoped that those oils were at least you know getting in to a certain extent but I haven't put any water-based moisturizers on it and that is what it really but needs. I remembered that I do have a water-based leave-in the one with the cone in it it is this one you won't be able to see the label that's okay it's in Hebrew anyway it's by a company called Schwartz and it's a moisturizing hair cream and it has good ingredients it has water as its first ingredient it has sunflower seed oil it has um, right after that those are the first two ingredients then it has acetyl alcohol steric acid cetyl alcohol and olive oil those are the first five ingredients and then after that is the, the dimethicone and so I realized if I'm going to do another style and keep this flat iron hair for a few more days, I need to put a moisturizer on it. So I put this water-based moisturizer on it, and then after that, I remembered that I do have a holding product. It is very old, very old. So I've been reluctant to use it because of how old it is. I've had it over a year, but it's my organic root stimulator smooth and hold pudding. <clears throat> now I avoid using this because the third ingredient is mineral oil and I don't like that stuff I don't use it on my hair I avoid it like the plague but I needed something with hold and the first ingredient in this of course is water the second ingredient is coconut milk and I have found with this product whenever I use it my hair turns super soft and it really it does a good job it's not necessarily the strongest holding agent but it does a good job on my hair um, especially you know when I wash it within a week or so so I figured I would go ahead and give it a try I already got enough silicones and whatnot on my hair so what I did was that I would put the moisturizer on first and then follow it up with the mineral oil I'm sorry <laughs> follow it up and then I would follow it up with the smooth and hold pudding and then I would twist it not not a two-strand twist but I would roll it around in my fingers until it made a bantu knot then I would pin up, then I would um, tie up the knot. I didn't pin it, I just, you know, twisted the knot into place. Now the third thing I realized was that I needed to leave the set in for a longer period of time to get better definition and better hold. So this time, instead of just having them in overnight, like I did with those little braids last week for my braid out, I'm going to have these in from Friday night until Sunday morning. That gives me a little bit more than 24 hours, actually quite a bit more than 24 hours, to get a longer set. And hopefully the length of time for that hold will give me better results and a more defined than to not out. Let's hope. Morning. Okay, so I'm up. It's not crazy early, but it's early enough. You know what, I can see a difference in these two already. In this one, initially, I forgot to put on the moisturizing cream, so I just put on the smooth and hold pudding. And then I put the moisturizing cream on afterward. And on this one, and all the rest of them, actually, I have them on in the other order. Cream first and then pudding. We'll see what happens. So let's get some hold oil. I have a little on my hands already. I'm going to actually use it now to separate. Just got some on my fingers. Okay. 
please, please separate properly. Be good to me. So let's see how this goes here. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of major separating because I don't want to puff. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's my final look. I love it! Yay, it worked! So I put a flower here and pulled this back and I um, used a couple of bobby pins to pull this back because I didn't put the knots high enough here. And um, I'll turn on and show you the back. I think I pulled the part. So that's my look. The curls came out really nicely and I'm gonna go outside and hope that they hold in the Jerusalem humidity. I'm gonna be the church. Bye-bye.